Hi everyone, this is Frank from YOLO Live. Today I want to talk about how to connect my DJI drone with YOLO Box. I'm going to walk you through both wired and wireless connection options. Just a heads up, wireless connections include RTMP and HDMI wireless signals, but only the YOLO Box Ultra supports RTMP. Wired connection is pretty straightforward and works with all YOLO Box models. You need an adapter. The one I have is a U-Green adapter. It has a USB-C input and a HDMI output. Then you will need a HDMI cable as well. Start by hooking them up. Plug the USB-C port into the remote control and the HDMI port into the YOLO box. That's it. Now you'll be able to see the drone's camera feed on the YOLO box display. Right now, only the YOLO box Ultra supports RTMP. If your device doesn't have this feature, you can still set up a wireless connection using an HDMI wireless transmitter and receiver. We'll have a dedicated video soon that covers choosing, using, and optimizing an HDMI wireless transmitter. For now, let's dive into how to use RTMP to connect your drone to the YOLO box wirelessly. First, it's important to know that the YOLO box can't connect directly to a drone using RTMP Actually, no streaming hardware or software can do this on its own. You'll need an RTMP server. This setup lets us send the drone's camera feed to an RTMP server first, which then relays it to the YOLO box. So, you'll also need a computer with an RTMP server installed. And please ensure these three devices are connected to the same network. There are lots of free RTMP server packages and guides online. Before you install one, check if it's compatible with your computer's operating system. If you're on Mac OS, you can click the RTMP server installation link in the video description. It's the same free and convenient server I'm using now. Since Mac OS tutorials for setting up an RTMP server are less common, you can check out our GoPro video and jump to the wireless connection section where I walk you through the full setup and usage. When I get to the controller's display screen, I tap the three dots in the top right corner and go to transmission. At the top, you'll see an option for live streaming platforms. Tap that, then select RTMP. Here, I'll need to enter the RTMP address. I found my IP address on my computer, so I'll enter RTMP jot, then my IP address, followed by jot live drone. Make sure to keep this part of the URL exactly as it is, but you can customize the suffix if you want. Once that's all set, hit start. Now on the computer's RTMP server, I'll see a device connected. For the final step, we go to the RTMP URL input screen on the YOLO box. Just copy the RTMP address you entered on the controller, paste it into the YOLO box, and hit done. Now you'll see this RTMP source on the YOLO box display. If you're connecting via RTMP, there might be a noticeable delay, but there shouldn't be any buffering issues. If you're experiencing buffering, please check your network connection to ensure it's stable. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more insightful content. Also, don't forget to join our Facebook user group where lots of our customers share their user cases. Last but certainly not least, if you have any questions or would like to know more about YOLO Live, you can contact us via email at contactyololive.com. If your need is urgent, you can call us at plus 186 -1330 If you need to express your needs through pictures or videos, you can also contact us via WhatsApp. The number is still plus 86 Thank you for watching this video.